Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle! Uh, how you doing folks? And today I'm going to be making a ball mill. Um, I made one before. This used to fit in my lathe, so I'd leave my lathe running on a, on the slowest possible speed. Um, I found out I had to, had to run it for a day to get the um, what, I was, what I was milling down to a, a fine powder, um, which I don't really like doing. Um, also, it's, it's very small. This, this started off as a fire extinguisher. This is the top and bottom of the fire extinguisher welded together, and then has a 80-gallon uh, drum filler welded into the top of it so I could get me a shit in and out of it. Um, that's no good, that's too small. So I need to make a um, something a little bit bigger. So I've got another fire extinguisher. This is, this is the ingredients list, fire extinguisher, uh, some cold drawn cold drawn pipe. I found this is this is a lot cheaper than, than getting ground round steel. Um, yeah it still has uh, close close enough tolerances that I can I can run it in a bearing or something like that. I've got some uh, little little belt. Um, oh, what's it called? I don't know. It's for, for making belts, so I can I can make my own um, pulleys and belts. This is polyurethane, by the way. It always used to be rubber, but this stuff's a little bit a little bit um, better because you can melt it together and get quite a good strong bond. I've got some some ceramic ball for grinding. I don't think I've got enough there. Uh, I've got an electric fan motor. This is good because it's got got. Um, different windings inside the motor so I can run it at different speeds. Um, I'm not entirely sure how fast it's going. I should imagine it'll be in the in the 600 to 1000 RPM range. It won't, won't go much quicker than that because these are very quiet so uh, that that will be reasonably low speed anyway. We'll have to figure out what um, what pulley diameters I'm going to use and uh, a stack of ball bearings and then yeah, these are just the cheapest, cheapest ball bearings I could find on um, not YouTube, the other one, eBay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and uh, these determine the size of the, uh, the metal um, cold drawn seamless that I bought. Um, the fucking trains.
Well, my, my maths was ever so slightly wrong. It's uh, a little bit faster at the minute, and the the motor is struggling on anything but the highest highest power, which means I can't select a slower speed. Right, check this out. High speed. I look, I've, uh, I've even put the the belt directly onto the motor shaft as opposed to the pulley I made. Mean. Second speed. No, I'm just gonna bug on a motor right like that. Here you go. I'm gonna make another another pulley quickly and stick that on. Hey, bigger, bigger pulley on it. Uh, speed is speed of the the cylinder is reduced. Uh, it's still not working on the lower speeds though. Unfortunate, but I think you might have to just live with this, you know. It is doing exactly what it is supposed to do. Oh my god, that pulley's wonky. Actually, despite the fact that the pulley is so wonky, the belt is remarkably straight. It's more, uh, more luck than by design, I suppose. Um, it makes me want to get a little wood lathe, you know, or build a wood lathe so I can make pulleys, and it'd be certainly very handy for pattern making. Um, but doing this on the drill. On the drill press wasn't wasn't really very fun the pillar drill you know um, hey future project perhaps wood lathe I don't know with uh, with parts cast with the bentonite clay that I'm milling now um, here's the ball mill anyway very very easy to make and uh, looks pretty cool with that uh, like semi polished lacquered beach for a base um, the little the little round belting was was really fun. Um, all right, some people some people do a much better job of it. Use special tools to uh, get it perfectly in line. Um, I'd say this is working perfectly well, but it's, it's obviously not. It could be could be better. So maybe that's something I need to look into for my next uh, next jaunt with the um, round belting. But you know, the state of this pulley and it's it's working working reasonably well, and I haven't paid a lot of attention joining it up it's it's fun cool stuff to use yeah <clears throat> and if it means making use of an old 
old fan motor like this, then uh, and go for it. I see. You know, pretty pretty easy to make a little belt um, drive train. I don't know why, but this uh, this fire fire just seems to be happiest sat on the world at the end. Right, I'm not arguing with that. I'll just leave it as it is. Um, it's running pretty nicely. I, um, that's it. Yeah, I'll, I expect you'll see uh, the bentonite clay in a future video when I'm casting with it. Until then. Cheerio, goodbye, I hope you enjoyed this, give us a like and a, a comment or something and subscribe if you haven't, that'd be great and uh, I'll see you again soon, cheerio, bye bye.